little skit. So this is a, a little skit. Uh, um, I kind of wanted to um, do a little roast. And uh, I want to introduce a skit um, that kind of reflects a very small part of the relationship between uh, my father and me while I was growing up. Can, can everyone hear? Can everyone see us? OK. All right, we'll get started. Okay, so uh, Salman is um, is actually playing my father, who, uh, by the way, is, uh, if you can see, he's multitasking, <laughs> as he typically did, with the laptop, newspaper, uh, Time magazine, and a remote control. <laughs> and um, so I'm like uh, talking to him. I'm, I'm probably. Uh, in high school, and um, we uh, just have a little conversation, and I tell him, you know, I, I, I just took my typing class, I told him I was able to type 40, 40 words a minute, which was apparently the best in the class, and... First I will tell him to hurry up, because uh, 60 minutes is going to start in a few minutes. <laughs> As far as your 40 words, I typed at 90, so you're heading in the right direction. <laughs> okay, then uh, fast forward uh, uh, several years. Um, I told my father that I wrote my first uh, article in a medical journal. And I was really proud of it. And I uh, just, you know, announced to him that I, you know, Abba, I, I just wrote an article in a, in a medical journal. Very good. Uh, I have written uh, 100 articles <laughs> in the uh, one of them in the New England Journal of Medicine. So again, you're headed in the right direction. <laughs> um, so fast forward a few years, um, I told him, you know, I actually was featured on. I had a TV appearance. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, what do you think of that? Wonderful. I have been on 10 television shows, and uh, my name is a household name. <laughs> so, um, so a uh, few, few, few years later, Abba, I was, I was in, uh, listed in Who's Who in America. Wonderful. I'm uh, the who's who in the world. <laughs> uh, Abba, I, I, I wrote my first book. Uh, what do you think of that? Marvelous! I wrote three books and I have four on the way. <laughs> um, you know, Abba, I, I helped uh, this one uh, patient today. I really uh, wanted to tell you the story. It's really impressive. Very good. Uh, I have helped 100 people before breakfast today. <laughs> so, this is just a... Uh, these are actually based on true stories, and um, uh, can everyone hear me? Can you turned it off. Yeah, there you go. Hello? Hello? Okay. So, um, I just want to say that um, everything I've achieved is actually due to a lot of encouragement from my father. <laughs> and that's the way I got encouraged. <laughs> and uh, uh, sort of on a serious note. Ibrahim Ambul says uh, that uh, you should aspire beyond one's uh, abilities. And uh, I've always uh, appreciated that. Thanks a lot.
Okay. Um, I want to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Uh, 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 oh, is that my? She's a longtime friend of the family and uh, a, a, actually a pretty eminent scholar also, and uh, really uh, appreciate her coming and coming to this event. Good evening. Uh, thank you uh, very much, um, Mubeen and Zafreen. You are the official uh, hosts of this wonderful evening. Um, I think everybody uh, uh, has been greatly um, uh, inspired. Uh, amused, interested in hearing all these uh, wonderful comments from friends and family. Uh, it shows what a rich life um, Dr. Ibrahim Sayyid and uh, Sajda have led. Uh, this uh, uh, celebration here uh, is, a, is a representation of um, all the various aspects of their uh, multifaceted life. Um, uh, I am personally very, very touched by the uh, testimony of um, their old friends who come from different parts of the country, Massachusetts and other places, and um, even more than that, by the uh, testimonies of the of the family of the family members. Um, uh, Dr. Sayed and. Uh, Sajda have been my friends for more than 40 years, ever since I first came to visit the city. And uh, we have shared a lot of uh, very important uh, things, uh, events, and have a lot of uh, very precious memories. Um, Dr. Sayed had asked me to, <coughs> in uh, my brief uh, remarks to you tonight, to uh, talk about two particular things. So I want to be faithful to uh, the task entrusted to me. First, he wanted me to thank the hosts of this evening and everybody who has helped to put this event together on behalf of all the guests and all the people who are present here. So uh, I thank everybody, and particularly the family members who worked so hard. To, this is a very memorable event. You know, I've attended lots of events uh, in Louisville, but I've never been to an event like this one. It's, it's just an amazing event. And I want to thank uh, all of you and I want to uh, congratulate you, Chessa, and besides that, I don't know where she is, but uh, on a wonderful life, a life very well lived, very rich life, very blessed life. So that's the first part of my assignment you get. You know, I'm terrified of you. <laughs> If I, I, I just I got the message from uh, Obi's skit, you know. <laughs> you, you say, I only told you to do two things that you didn't do, you know, one and a half or whatever. Okay. So that's the first one. The second one, you said you should say a few words about women's empowerment. Now that I know is the theme of what you're going to speak about in your final, in your concluding words. Of course, you always have to have the last word, right? Somebody said silent, but actually, you know. She, she's very gracious. She's let you get away with it for a long time. So anyway, I won't, I won't intrude on your territory, but um, uh, I want to um, uh, I, I want to pay my homage to you because I have seen you speak about this subject over the years. You have also spoken in a number of my, my classes when I was teaching at UofL and in many different fora that you are one of the few Muslim men who is a scholar and a scientist and a very eminent member of the Muslim society here, a pillar of the society, who really and truly believes in the equality of men and women. A lot of people say that, but they don't actually believe it. And I, I know that you uh, actually have believed in it and you have lived it all your life um, uh, in a way that um, uh, illustrates uh, how deeply you feel the disempowerment of women and uh, how 
committed you are, with the passion you have for empowering women, and I see all the wonderful women in your family, so many of them in this room, whom you have uh, helped to attain uh, remarkable positions. So I want to pay my personal tribute to you for that. And uh, I also, you also asked me to say, to mention that um, the word Raham and the significance of it. Uh, you know, Muslim culture, generally speaking, on the whole, is a very chauvinistic culture. It's very patriarchal. And a lot of people whom I have met, because this is my, one of my areas of special interest as well, uh, they think that, you know, the God of Islam, Allah, Ta'ala, whatever name you use, is also very male. And uh, I've had people tell me that, that, you know, uh, Allah is male. And then, um, and then I remind them that the most, two most important, most beloved, most uh, uh, powerful names of uh, God in the Quran are Rahman and Rahim. And both of them derive from the root word Raham, which means home, same exact word in, in uh, Hebrew language. Uh, and the word Raham means home. And so the most beloved names of God come from the root word meaning home. And the love of God for, for God's creatures is likened to the love of a mother for her children. Uh, the, the person deserving of the highest respect, according to Quranic teaching, is your mother. We, we find that testimony both in the Quran and in the, in the sayings of the Prophet, peace be on him. Um, I want to mention that, um, you know, one of the, the greatest testaments to how a person has lived his or her life, how successful, how happy, how fulfilled they have been, is how they raise their children. And, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, the greatest testament to the wonderful lives that you have led, Dr. Sayyid and Sajida Ben, are your two absolutely outstanding children, Obin and Zafri. Not only are they both doctors who are committed to serving humanity, but they are outstanding doctors and outstanding human beings. I was so amazed a few years ago to learn of the remarkable work that Mubin has done in his field of work. He, he's a pioneer and he is a deeply compassionate uh, doctor who has helped a lot of people in, in pain. And Safreen, as a, you know, I've known her uh, since she was a child. She was also my student. But uh, I know what a wonderful spirit and a, what a good heart she has. Uh, I remember talking to Sajda some time ago, uh, about a year ago, um, and she had been through very serious uh, surgery. And it so happened, it happened very suddenly, and Dr. Sayyid was not even here. He was visiting India at that time to receive his doctorate, for the great honor, of course. And Sajda said, you know, my children saved my life. And she talked about uh, what Mubin had done and then what Safreen had done. And she said, you know, Safreen, of course, uh, lives close to Louisville and she's here every weekend and spends a lot of time with her parents. And uh, what, what greater gift could God have given them than a daughter like Safreen? And I particularly identify with that because God has also blessed me with a, with a, a priceless daughter. And I know what daughters are worth. You know, sons are worth a lot, in our culture, sons mean everything. But, you know, I think that there's no place uh, like that of a daughter. And so I, I, I think that you are extremely blessed with both of your children, outstanding children. And uh, I've known them since they were kids. I have a lot of love and respect for them. And uh, uh, yeah. the only other thing that's not a part of my homework, Dr. Sayyid, that I want to say, is uh, all the work that you have done for the Islamic community, not only in Louisville. I mean, you have participated in all of the mosques in Louisville. And one attribute that nobody has mentioned so far, amongst all the tributes paid to you, is your passion for justice. You have been fighting injustice and corruption and uh, all sorts of uh, ill doings. All your life, ever since I've known you, you have been suing at least a dozen people. <laughs> <laughs> One time, you know, people 
because they've done something wrong, and it will not tolerate that. So I think that, you know, I, I uh, as a Christian person also, very committed to justice, I appreciate that, that you will not stand idly by and let people get away with it. And you know, you're a, you strike a terror in the heart of everybody who, who has anything to hide, because you'll find it, you know. So anyway, but um, aside from that, the work that you have done through the Islamic Research Foundation, the work you have done in promoting critical thinking in the Islamic world, this is your gift to posterity. Maybe people today don't always understand the value of this work. You know, your your family members are very grateful to you, very appreciative about to you about the life lessons you have taught them, how they can be successful in this country, in this life, and so on. But the work that you have, you are doing to mold the thinking and the consciousness of Muslims, not of today but of tomorrow, is is a is a, a remarkable thing that you are doing and uh, may God give you the strength and uh, that you continue doing that um, and um, you know uh